Most of the success of the Jungle Book can be witnessed in this pivotal scene early in the film. What begins as an intimately shot, almost enthralling scene of a romanticised cooperation of nature is first made uneasy by the presence of unfamiliarity, before being turned into fear outright by the mere arrival of Shere Khan. From here, the plot is set into motion, not by actions, not by violence nor death, nor aggressive confrontation, but by words, by planting the seeds of doubt. A scene that begins so rousing, so poignant, is transformed into something ugly and sinister. The Jungle Book manages to achieve a wonderful degree of emotional variance, exhilarating and uplifting one moment to unrelentingly sinister the next. This is achieved in no small part by the voice acting. The Jungle Book boasts an impressive voice cast, yet the talent here is picked with a clear sense of deliberate consideration. Idris Elba lends his voice to Shere Khan, using a low, though nonetheless authoritative tone. Cold and calculated, yet brash and unpredictable. Something to be feared. Scarlett Johansson also stands out, playing the unnaturally long snake, Ka. It was this standout scene that gave me a considerable amount of appreciation for the Jungle Book's shift in tone. This is ultimately a children's film and not for a while has a film for children attempted to delve into such dark places since, well, I'd say The Lion King. The Jungle Book will excite as much as it will terrify, something that I feel is truly needed. Scarlett Johansson's soft speech combined with a natural rasp makes her an almost perfect fit for a character such as Carr. The simple question, Who are you? elicits a response that is genuinely unnerving. Carr. A young Neil Sethi portrays Mowgli quite nicely too. The young actor gives it his all when it comes to the physicality of the role, whether it be running and climbing at absurd speeds, or convincingly interacting with the digital animals and environment. This degree of physical interaction lends a good degree of realism to an otherwise digital world. The Jungle Book shows us just how very close we are to photorealistic digital effects. Though not every shot is completely convincing, the effects overall are a marvel to behold. My only real criticisms come from scene contrivances mostly as well as developments here and there. To explain further, as terrific as Carr's scene is, it's incredibly brief. Now this isn't a criticism outright, I'd rather a focused and impressive moment to an overdone one, but I feel that Carr was portrayed too well not to appear even once more throughout the film. Compare this to, say, King Louis' scene. Louis is played by Christopher Walken here, whose voice is just strange enough to lend Louis a natural degree of baffling uncertainty. Of course, King Louis' famous scene from the original film, I Wanna Be Like You, does make a return, the problem here is that it's played more diegetically, as if Louis is actually singing to Mowgli in this scene. Like me, can't learn to be like someone like you. The result, however, is a tediously flat delivery from both Walken himself as well as the scene composition. He just sits there, singing, hardly moving, as the camera stays mostly stationary too. We'd have powers, all the jungle's treasures ours. I got desire, you got the fire, but the There's no energy to it, but worse, no reason for it. The Jungle Book is not a musical, and forcing this moment in feels almost gauche, just unnecessary. Which is a shame, because the rest of the Jungle Book feels like such a genuine effort, crafted with care and enthusiasm. These minor faults, however, are by no means a deal-breaker, they're just that, minor faults. Though sometimes awkwardly paced, with scenes that go from too short to too long, the Jungle Book is nonetheless quite exciting, yet terrifying, yet uplifting. Though advertised as a larger summer event than it actually was, The Jungle Book is nonetheless a wonderful story well told, no matter what age you may be. I'd certainly recommend it.